Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today is an exciting day. I'm in the middle of redoing, refreshing, and recreating my four car garage. But today, we're gonna assemble some cabinets. So let's jump right into it. So guys, the reason I chose these cabinets is because there's not many videos out there on YouTube about these cabinets. I want to test them out for you to see if I can recommend them. If you're looking to purchase the Ultimate Garage cabinets, be sure to check out the links down below where you can get the best deal possible on these cabinets. Also, by clicking those links, you help support the channel, so thank you. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a longtime subscriber, always good to have you back. Right behind me is about a 30-foot section of my garage where I am installing some new garage cabinets. And today, I'm going to show you what all is involved in assembling the two-door space-saving cabinet box. Before we get into the unboxing, I just want to let you know that I am doing a massive tool giveaway this year. So make sure you check out the link down below for your chance to win some tools. So let's get unboxing. So inside the box you can see everything is nicely tightly packed so there should be no damage. Let's pull it out. Alright, so how to get started, what I like to do is I like to take uh, your cams and your dials and install them on all the pieces that require it in the beginning. That way they are ready to go when you grab the pieces. Alrighty, all of those are on. Just a little pro tip before we get assembling. If you want to use a power drill to insert these, make sure your drill is on a low torque. I use uh, three. So if you tighten these, this will actually break your cabinet. Next on here, with these cams, you just want to go ahead and loosen them up a little. You want to make sure the lines on them are pointing out. And then you want to loosen these up. This just makes assembly a lot easier. So I'm going to do this to all of them and then get assembly. Now that these are both on, we're going to install the top and the bottom. And A is the top and B is the bottom. How do you know which is the top? This pointy thing is the top because this is actually how you wall mount it. These ones are included. So basically you screw this to the wall and this is how the shelf will hang. So that is the top. Let's put A on the top, B on the bottom and see where we stand. The top is on, I turned it over. Now on these top and bottom there are wooden dowels you put in the middle here. And on the bottom, which is B, you want to make sure these two holes are towards the front of the cabinet. This is where your door latches are. All right, well, that is all done. But before I can mount these up on the wall, I got to finish these two cabinets, center everything. So I'll check back with you in a bit. Now it is time to install the top cabinets. And here is my Jimmy rigged system. I cannot recommend it you do this. But, you know, when you're in a pinch, you do you. So what I have here is uh, my new Pro Eagle jack for the trailer and my big cars with <laughs> some extreme reach, if you will. And what I'm doing is I'm going to put these cabinets higher, right below that outlet, uh, but they will be higher. And it actually works out that it's 30 inches of wall before the cabinet and funny enough this maxes out at 29 and 3 quarters or 30 inches reach so that works out perfectly so if you do attempt silly things like this you make sure everything is in with hands reach so I got my drill and my impact I got a tape measure I've got the actual mounting I do have lag bolts and washers extras in my pocket now to grab this cabinet hope and pray to whoever you hope and pray to and uh, I want to mount this one first because I know there's two beams what I've also done is if you can see I've already lined the laser up with the beams and I've lined it up with this beam because when it's on uh, when I mount it here it has this as a brace what I've also done is I put a lag bolt in this so this doesn't move um, so everything should be sturdy 99% of the weight will be on here. I'll just finagle the rest. So let's get installing. Mount 
mounted with one person. Got a little paint patch there, but uh, that's a win. Well, let's unbox the doors now. This is the two door space saving cabinet doors in the gray, and we will be installing them right up there. As always guys, everything is nice and tightly packed in here, so nothing gets damaged. What we have in here are your keys, and then just the two doors. Pretty straightforward process. We have four hinges. What I like to do is just put them in place. You can just rest them right there. Pretty simple. And then you get your screws. These screws will be used to secure it here. And then again, to secure it on the cabinet. I'm gonna tighten these. And again, here we go. Here are the brackets for the lock. One goes here, this one. And then the other one goes right on this shelf where these two holes are. Before we mount the doors, let's mount this backing here to cover up everything back there. And how you do it is just with these four black included screws in your hardware kit. So let's get that done. Now that the backing is securely mounted, let's grab one of the doors. I is for the left and J is for the right. All the J's have the lock, all the I's do not. So I'm gonna rest you up there and install this door. And there you have it, your cabinet doors are installed and they are soft close hinges. So that is great. So you may need to do a little bit of adjusting once they are closed. I see this needs a little bit of adjusting. But before then, let's put on the handles. But first we gotta remove this protective layer, put on the handles, then we can put in the shelf and we are done. Well guys, I installed all the handles and the cabinets are done. What do you think? To me, they look amazing. If you found those videos helpful and you would like to purchase the cabinets, there's a link down below that helps support the channel every time you purchase from there. If you have any questions about these cabinets, feel free to ask me. I buy these cabinets to try them out to give you guys first-hand experience. If you are looking for different cabinets, be sure you check out all my previous videos as well because I've reviewed a bunch of them. But guys, I am giving away a whole bunch of tools this year, so make sure you check out the link down below that will tell you how to enter to win. But until next time, thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll see you then.